I'm recording this video as a public service announcement. I am back dealing with Aquin Loan Servicing. Aquin Loan Servicing uh, has my mortgage loan and they are the servicer. My loan's investor is HSBC Bank USA Trust. It's at um, 8 40th Street, New York, New York. That's all I know, 840th Street, New York, New York. But they are the investor, and so I'm guessing because it's a trust, they, you know, it's, they're, they're the actual investor, the actual person, they're probably managing the loan for someone else. But I've sent several emails to HSBC notifying them that Aquin terminated my repayment agreement on November 11th and Aquin is now trying to take my home for me. It is right before Christmas. It, today is December the 6th and Aquin Loan Servicing is trying to take my home from me. Um, it's impossible to reach any type of an executive at Aquin Loan Servicing it's absolutely impossible. And when I, I reach the office of the ombudsman, I speak to lower level agents who cannot help me and who have really no power. And all they tell me is that, well, you've got the highest office. But I tell them that's similar to speaking to a janitor that works in the CEO's office. You're speaking to someone that works in the CEO's office, but the person has almost zero power to affect change. Now, you know, the previous agreement, I had gone through about seven months of pure hell with Aquin um, to try to set up a repayment plan. I was dealing with the relationship managers, the home retention agents, and all they did for a straight seven months was threaten me endlessly, they wanted me to send 10500 give me a few days to do it. One person said 7000 I mean, it was just constant threats. I'm going to tell you guys what I figured out about Aquin. Aquin trains its so-called, quote-unquote, home retention agents. They're just collection agents, and Aquin trains them to act in a very coercive, deceptive manner because every day I call in, the information changes from day to day. The agents straight up lie. I like the terms of my loan. I just need a, a repayment that breaks the payments down and, and splits them over a certain time period. I had one home retention agent who told me, send all of your financials, your bank statements, everything. And I said, sir, but that's consistent with the loan mod because I had been told that repayment plans are all verbal. You agree to a certain repayment, they send you the form, you fill, you sign it, you send it back. He said, no, this is for the repayment. Aquin's changed his policies. We need all of this information now for just the repayment. So I, send, I sent over all the information, and the agent did not tell me that he put me under review for a mod. He told me he was only considering me for the repayment, which is what I wanted. So for about 45 days, I continued to contact Aquan Loan Servicing. No one told me I was under review for a loan mod. They misled me to believe that I was under review for just a repayment where they break, split the payments up. I only found out that I was under, had been under review for a loan mod when the mod was declined or denied by Aquan. And... After that happened, I happened to reach two managers. I reached a customer service manager and then another manager who said, well, no, we don't request that information for repayments, even long-term repayments. Those are done verbally. And I said, well, that guy told me they needed it because Aquin had changed his policies. The manager said, no, he lied. Now, the thing about Aquin is, especially these agents in India, these guys are really, really incentivized, and I'm sure that Aquin is financially incentivizing them over and beyond their just their basic paycheck.
to, to, to be very deceptive and to get as much money as possible. So that's why if you're having a hard time paying your mortgage and you call these guys, they want thousands and thousands up front. And they dangle the threat of foreclosure while demanding thousands that they know, I'm sure they know you don't have. And it's happened every time. So the only way I was able to finally get assistance was a vice president. I had filed so many complaints against Aquin with, you know, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, with the, uh, the attorney general of my state, that Aquin um, Loan Servicing, somehow my file got finally escalated within Aquin to a VP who put me in touch with a home retention agent who was a specialized home retention agent out of California. And the VP called me. And within 15 minutes of talking to the guy, we had worked out a plan. He took my payments, extended them out, split it up, and I was able to keep my home. So Aquin um, now... The whole process has started again. I called in today and I, I'm, you know, I said I need a little bit of help to get caught up on my mortgage. Um, I'm not that many payments behind. And so the guy put me on hold. It was an Indian guy. And he said, okay, he said, just a moment. Now I owe about $4,000. Um, actually about 3000 because Aquin is rejecting the payments. I have one payment for one month, but they're rejecting the other three. So he said, okay, hold on. I'll be able to help you. I'm a relationship manager. He put me on hold, and he came back to the phone and said, you've got seven days to send $5,000. Seven days to send 5000 which would pay me current, actually pay me over current. And I was just shocked by that. I said, sir, you can't be serious. That's not, if I'm... You know, if I'm asking you guys to help, it's not helping me saying pay yourself current in seven days or else. So these Indian guys are financially incentivized. Now, Aquin was sued by the federal government, by 49 different state attorney generals, and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau in 2013 because they found that Aquin had a pattern of systemic misconduct that included deceptive um, servicing tactics they were misleading customers. I mean, Aquin was just, whew, Aquin was just terrible. They sued Aquin for $2 billion. Aquin, that was the largest, one of the largest lawsuits ever in American history. Aquin has not changed its ways. And the thing that concerns me now is that the housing market, it's now a seller's market. So Aquin, they also found that Aquin were, was pushing people out of their homes because Aquin owned, if I'm not mistaken, they owned some type of a company that sold the houses, and Aquin was being paid huge commissions. It was making money in very um, unethical sideways. It was like a big, huge conflict of interest. It was actually profiting Aquin more to take a person's home than to keep them in it. And so, you know, it's just Aquin is so ruthless as a company. So today I called in. I've been calling every day. I've been keeping track of the people I've spoken to and still trying to get some get a repayment set up. The threats have started again. They've started to demand thousands up front. And um, I'm going to try to give you guys the name of the person I spoke to. Hold on. His name is Jayoti. Um, gosh. Okay, let, okay, here it is. Today, um, I called Aquin and I spoke to someone named Fayed this morning who told me I needed to send 5000 which would actually pay me current and, and gave me seven days to do it. I then called back and I spoke to someone named Sandra, um, agent ID 14302, and I asked to speak to the office of the ombudsman. Someone named Dolores picked up. Her ID is 141002. I could not complete the call with her, so I called back. I, to I was told that my... Relationship manager is Chirag, C-H-I-R-A-G, A-G-A-R-W-A-L. 
and some guy in India. There is no email for him. There is no extension for him. And I've called several times and I have never been able to reach him. Um, so then I called and spoke to Frank in India. Agent ID 104-829 at 11:23. He transferred me to Nicole. Agent ID 104-475 at 11:25. I was transferred to the office of the ombudsman, where I where I specifically told Nicole I wanted a manager. The most frustrating thing about dealing with Aquin's office of the ombudsman is that you get lower level agents who have zero power, and they refuse to escalate you to higher level management by saying. You've reached the highest office. I used to work in the office of the president for a major bank. I was making $15 an hour. And when people would call in with just terrible issues, issues that really should have been escalated higher, um, we were instructed to tell them you've reached the highest office. You can't get any higher than a $15 an hour associate. And we were told to just say we're in the office of the president. So that's the same thing when you're dealing with Aquin. Um, we didn't really have any power, none whatsoever. And we were dealing with very frustrated people, people who had a right to be frustrated. I would look at their files. There were gaps in their files. Their paperwork would be missing. Aquin is the same way when you deal with the office of the ombudsman. Um, dealing with them. Okay, dealing with them, I know that I'm speaking to lower level agents who refuse, who have been instructed not to escalate me higher. These are people that have no power. And so, you know, we're kind of forced to file multiple complaints against Aquin just to try to get some relief. So um, she transferred me to the office of the ombudsman where I spoke to some woman who said she was a consumer account analyst. She refused to give me an agent ID. She said they don't have agent IDs. I don't believe that. She refused to give me her entire name. She said her name was Kay, last name Frey, F-R-E-Y. I asked her, did those people have aliases? She said, no, I just don't, I don't know if that's true or not. But I, I spoke to her at 1148, and I asked her, I said, uh, ma'am, I've been sending constant emails to Aquin. Aquin is refusing my payment, and Aquin has not reached out to me at all, at all, to work out anything. They just have not reached out to me at all. And their agents are saying, pay yourself current within seven days, or we're taking your house. Now, remember, it's a seller's market. And I'm continuing, and the information changes day to day. Yesterday I called Aquin, and I spoke to a gentleman who intentionally let, left off some of my uh, repayment options. He tried to put me in a short-term repayment. He wanted to double my payment, my monthly mortgage payment. And I make the same amount of money now that I make when I, per I finance the home. But now, even though I owe $40,000 less on the loan, and make the same amount of money, they're saying, well, you're, the amount you make is not enough. It's not enough now. It was enough to finance the home at $40,000 higher than what I owe now, but it's not enough to set up a payment arrangement for four months. And my monthly payments are, are $900. So um, I said, well, sir, give me my investor. He, he didn't want to do it. He said, I'm going to have to put in a request for the investor. And when I said that I would submit a research request for the investor's information, which is HSBC Bank USA Trust in New York, he suddenly said, well, well ma'am, I, I can do something. We have other options. We can do possibly a long-term repayment. Now, this is, this is poignant. I don't know how to say that word. This is significant because today I called, and the gentleman I spoke to today demanded $5,000 in seven days and say there's nothing he could do. Was not trying to help me at all. Basically, that's just saying, fuck you. Send 5,000 in seven days or fuck you. Bas pay yourself current. I owe about 4,000. So they wanted me to pay an extra thousand in seven days, pay myself completely current, and that was all the help they could provide. And I said, well, I, I know you guys offer long-term repayment plans. Oh, our policies have changed. Well, the guy just yesterday said that you guys were offering long-term repayment plans. You know, and so um, 
The information just changes day to day, person to person, whoever you speak to. And I don't know what to do other than go public. And people, if you're struggling with an Aquin situation, with Aquin Loan Servicing, given their history, go public, create YouTube videos, put those YouTube videos online. Let's flood the Internet. Flood the Internet. Please. We have to notify the public. Aquin is violating terms of the 2013 court order that required Aqua not to engage in deceptive practices and misleading practices. And by the, by the fact that Aquin is changing their policies and speaking with me day to day, they're being very deceptive. And um, that, that hurts the homeowner. Um, like I said, Aquin trains its collection people to be coercive, to be deceptive, to dangle that foreclosure, and to try to get you into huge monthly payments, to try to get large lump sums. Aquin does not deal with homeowners in good faith. It doesn't. And so I'm going to send this video all over the place. But I'm also going to create a video about my investor. Because um, they need to know what Aquin is doing. I doubt they even care because, you know, those those trust guys are just straight money guys. They don't give a shit if I lose my house or not. As a matter of fact, if they thought they could make more money on it, they'd probably rip it out from under me. But HSBC Bank, USA, and Trust in New York, I'm going to make a video about them too. But, but guys, like I said, I spoke to um, Kay Frey in the ombudsman's office, and she just kept saying, you can't go higher, you can't go higher. I've left several messages for managers to call me. No one's called. I've never been able to reach this Sharat guy. He's supposed to be my relationship manager. And so she told me today that um, the guy that's getting my emails, his name is Jayote Duby. J as in Jack, Y as in Yankee, O as in Oscar, T as in Tom. I as in India, Jayote. And his last name is Duby. D as in David, U as in Umbrella, B as in Bravo, E as in Edward, Y as in Yankee. But this Jayoti Doobie guy has not reached out to me at all, you know? And they're just steady refusing my payment and not reaching out to me. So then um, I asked for a supervisor, and his supervisor's name is Pinky, P-I-N-K-Y, Milwara. M as in Mary, E as in Edward, W as in water, A as in apple, D as in David, A as in apple. I can't, these people have no extensions, they have no phone numbers, they have no emails. And so I've, I've been sending, you know, to rma at aquan.com, ombudsman3 at aquan.com, ombudsmanweb at aquan.com, and home.retention at aquan.com. And nobody's responded to my emails, and it's like, you know, I mean, Aquan is just the company straight from hell. We need to start telling it like it is. I mean, these people are so ruthless. I mean, Aquin is ruthless. And this Ron Ferris guy, you know, I mean, he has to know what's going on. He has to know about these dubious tactics. <clears throat> you know, I, I'm surprised that they still have the same CEO, but you can't reach any higher up executives. You know, they're just crushing homeowners, man. And if you guys wanted to get together... And start like a boycott or march in front of Aquin's headquarters or whatever you guys want to do. We probably need to do that because Aquin is straight from hell. They have thousands, probably millions of complaints online. They've already been sued by 49 U.S. states and found guilty of systemic misconduct. And now, right before Christmas, they're rejecting my payment, demanding I pay the account current. And... Seven days. Seven days. And I was so shocked when the guy came back to the phone and said that. I said, sir, I don't have 5000 right before Christmas to just send to Aqua. I don't have it. And so he just said, well, there's nothing else. I'm sorry. <laughs> How cold-blooded can you be? You know what I'm saying? And Aquan, Aquan is cold-blooded. So I'm going to continue to make these Aquan videos I'm going to start a series about Aquin and uh, see if I can get some help because um, it looks like Aquin just doesn't care. They're ruthless.